Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. So let's start. Here's the question. Without solving the equation x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals to 0, find the numerical value of x squared plus x minus 29 all over x squared plus 3x minus 19. Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video and if you're ready, Here's the solution. But before that, if you have time, please like and also share this video. And for more math videos like this, kindly visit our YouTube channels. We have Assistant and German Academy and my YouTube channel, Zalen RMD. Now let's start with the solution. Now we have the equation given which is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals to 0. And our goal is to find the value of x squared plus x minus 29 all over x squared plus 3x minus 19. According to the question, without solving the equation x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals to 0. But what if we try to solve this equation? Now, to solve this equation, we will use the quadratic formula. So we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now at this point, the value of a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and the value of b is the coefficient of x, which is 5, and the value of c is the constant term of this equation, which is negative 9. Substitute all the given values and we have x equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 all over 2 times 1. Now at this point, a becomes 1, b becomes 5, and c becomes negative 9. Now simplify and we get x equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 61 all over 2. Now this is the value of x. Now if you want to find the value of x squared plus x minus 29 all over x squared plus 3x minus 19, we need to substitute the value of x. And this equation gets messy. That's why the instruction is without solving the equation. Now the question is, what we're going to do to find the value of this expression without solving this equation? Now first thing to do is to focus on this numerator. We have x squared plus x minus 29. And what we're going to do is to rewrite this equation. Now x can be written as 5x minus 4x and 29 can be written as 20 plus 9. So again, x is simply 5x minus 4x and 29 is 20 plus 9. Now distribute the negative sign. We get x squared plus 5x minus 4x minus 20 minus 9. Now rearrange, we get x squared plus 5x minus 9 minus 4x minus 20. Now don't forget that x squared plus 5x minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, this x squared plus 5x minus 9 is gone or simply 0. Therefore, we have the value of 4x minus 20. Therefore, the value of the numerator is simply negative 4x minus 20 and over the denominator. Now, let's have the denominator x squared plus 3x minus 19. We will do the same thing. So, we will rewrite 3x as 5x minus 2x while 19 is simply 10 plus 9. Now, again, distribute the negative sign. We get x squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 minus 9. Now, rearrange and we get x squared plus 5x minus 9 minus 2x minus 10. Again, x squared plus 5x minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of x squared plus 5x minus 9 is simply 0. So we can cancel out this term because the value of this term is simply 0. Therefore, we have negative 2x minus 10. So the denominator is simply negative 2x minus 10. Now what will happen 
if we factor out 2 on the numerator. So we have 2 multiplied by negative 2x minus 10 all over negative 2x minus 10. Now at this point, we can now cancel out negative 2x minus 10 on the numerator and negative 2x minus 10 on the denominator. Therefore, the value of x squared plus x minus 29 all over x squared plus 3x minus 19 is simply 2. And we're done.